have a story problem, um, and this is a story problem for my introduction to algebra class. So right away, I see that I have a story problem, and I'm having you know kind of a emotional response um, to all the other story problems I've ever read and the confusion and all that stuff that I felt. So, but I know that I'm an experienced reader, so I'm going to just take a minute, okay, and now I'm going to read it. Sylvia scored 10 points better than Wiley or Willie, uh, I'll say Wiley, on their science exam. Greg scores six points less than Wiley. The students' combined scores add up to 226 points. How many points did Sylvia earn? So my first response to this is that I don't care. <laughs> I know that Sylvia and Wiley and Greg are not real people. And I know that in real life, this isn't really the way that I would try to solve this kind of problem. Um, so my strategy, what I do, is I understand that I'm being front-loaded with a whole bunch of information, so I go right to the end. And I think it's really important to notice that if I'm going to identify the question that I'm trying to answer, first of all, it's at the end, and it has a question mark on it. So the first thing that I do is I go and I just look for the question mark and I identify the question. So what I'm looking for is how many points did Sylvia earn? Okay, so I'm going to really take note of that. And now I'm going to try to organize the information and I'll, I'll just talk a little bit about how I'm thinking about that. So first of all, I notice that I have three different scores that I need to work with. And so I'm going to just go ahead and set it up here. So I've got Sylvia, I've got Greg, and I have Wiley. The students' combined scores add up to 26, two, sorry, 226 points. So I have two really important words here that help me. I have the word combined and I have the word add. So I know that when I take their scores and put them together, I have this total of 226 points. So now it looks to me like what I need to do is I need to take Sylvia and Greg and Wiley and turn them into numbers somehow so I can figure out what their scores are. So let's see if I can do that. <laughs> Sylvia scored 10 points better than Wiley. Greg scored six points less than Wiley. So something I noticed that's really interesting to me is that I'm hearing a lot about Sylvia and a lot about Greg, but I don't know anything about Wiley. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Wiley X because I don't know anything about him. And then I'm going to create a relationship around X. So let's see what I can do. Sylvia scored 10 points better than Wiley. Well, I changed Wiley's name to X. And so if Sylvia scored 10 more, I can make her X plus 10. And so that is Wiley plus 10. And then I'm still adding with Greg. Greg scores six points less than Wiley. Okay, so Wiley's name is still X. Now six points less, that would be subtracting. And then I still have adding to Wiley's score and I know that this still adds up to 226. So now that I've changed their names, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna combine like terms. So I have three X's. And so that's gonna be three X. And then I have my constant terms right here, and I'm going to be really careful of that negative sign. So 10 minus 6 gives me positive 4. And now I recognize I have an algebraic equation, but I'm going to be really careful at the end, and I'm going to make sure that when I find x, that that was really uh, what I was looking for. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. That's going to cancel out. I still have the equal sign and I get 222. And then I'm going to undo this multiplication right now and I'm going to divide by 3. And I just realized I don't have my calculator. Michelle, can you tell me what 222 divided by 3 is? You have your phone. Right there. It's okay. We, we can, we, that's the great thing about okay, videos. Okay, so. All right, here we go. Okay, so 222. Two, two. Uh-huh. So 222 <coughs> two, two divided by 3. This is collaboration 74. Oh, 74. Thank you very much. All right. So x equals 74. 
And so right now my temptation is I'm just gonna walk away because I found a value for X. And especially if I'm taking like a test that's like a multiple choice test and I look and I see 74, I feel really good about that. But I need to stop and I need to go, okay, who was X? Well, Wiley was X. So Wiley's score was 74. But I identified at the beginning that I was looking for Sylvia's score. So I need to take an X and I need to t add 10 to it. And so Sylvia's score is actually 84.